So if you're wanting to customize your XFCE desktop, uh, this is the right video to be at. Uh, XFCE is a, is a type of graphical user interface on the Linux operating system. That's one of the cool things about Linux is that you can choose to use different desktops and different window managers and different login managers and you can really customize it. You can change out certain programs and you know you're not stuck with one type of of graphical user interfaces. You might be with some other operating systems. This is really designed to yeah, it's really designed to be customizable and these XFCE panels is what we're going to focus on on the customization for this time. So, we're going to talk about how to, well, we're going to start with the panels and we may even look into some other things. Uh, panel preferences. Okay, I can sit here, I can see on my panel preference, you see how you've got the bar across here. That's the one that's selected. If I want to select up here, that's the one I'm selecting there. I can choose which ones I'm going to to deal with on here. Which ones am I going to manipulate with? I can add additional panels if I want to. I can change their layout. Um, now, a lot of times they are locked in place, but you can make them to where they can be drug around. Um, let's just add another one here, and we're going to say that that is going to be a nice little desk bar. Okay. So now we can, you know, add new items, for example. You know, we can add, yeah, my action buttons and applications menu. You can just kind of get the idea on how we can add things as we choose. And this is able to just be drug around. You know, I can just shove this wherever I want to and have a quick and easy access to those things. Now, I don't really need that, and I'm actually going to be getting rid of the base bar as well. I know I talked in another video about just how wonderful it is and how powerful it is, but I'm going to put all those features up on my upper bar so that I have a little bit more space to work with. Now I don't have as much clutter when I'm making videos for you guys. So that means panel two, I want to make sure that's selected where I got the red bar coming around here, that animated red bar, and it is going bye-bye. Hit the minus, I'm going to delete that. Now up here in the main one, now that's what I'm modifying. Now I can change the display of these things. And uh, so yeah, I mean I've got a bunch of little options down here. And I can also deal with the style differently. I can make it a solid color or use a background image on here for the appearance. I can change that up. Now I do love having a good dark background color, but if I remember correctly it makes certain things disappear like all of my text. You see? My text is now very difficult to read, but some of that text is going to be gone anyway. So I might use something that's a little bit more bright but not too much just for now I've kind of still got my dark scheme and that's partly just to make it so that way it's not so bright when I look at it it also helps to increase contrast well in this case I'm not increasing contrast with what's up there but that's not usually what I'm going to be working with with you guys is what's up there uh, but yeah, you have the options to change the color however you want to on that. Uh, you can even make it to where it changes how transparent it is. Uh, just going to get this guy 
back on up to a lighter color. That way we can see it for what I'm doing here. Because we are working with it right now. So, items. I can also change what I'm going to do with these guys. I can change my action buttons, change my uh, applications menu, all that good stuff. Window buttons. Window buttons is these guys here, the different windows that are open. And the separator is in here. And any of these guys, I can modify them too. Now in this case, it's marked to expand. So, if I don't have enough window buttons to fill it all the way up, it just expands the separator. That's what's going on with that. And it could be you know, separated with the handle or with the dots, whatever way I wanted to do those different appearances. You know, separator like that, with the handle, and I can kind of drag it around, just using the dots, whatever style I want on there. In this case, I don't want it to show anything. Now, the workspace switcher as well, yes, you can modify on there. You can also change your workspace settings. Adding or removing workspaces, you can add any number of them. I've got some computers, I have some of my computers that have like 12 workspaces on them. I have other ones that have nothing on them. They have a single one. I mean, you got to have at least one because you got to have something to work in. But you can go on in and you can change their names as well. I'm going to click on this. You know, and that would be like, say, this is my record, and this is my edit space, you know. So I can name them if I want to. I can add them. I can even pad them with margins. But I keep my screen size small for these videos to make it easier for them to be seen as I post these videos. So that way they're easier to see for you. Um... And you can even make it to where moving, moving the mouse wheel out over the desktop will change workspaces. And I can also make it to where I got additional rows, which is probably good because it'll use less space. And that's what I did there. Um, so, you know, you can go through here. Do I really need a clock? Probably don't. Um, notification area. Yeah, that can be helpful at times. I can also go on in here and modify the notifications as well. A lot of these things here, you can just right click or click on their settings here, and I can say, I don't like the frame. I want to hide certain things. I don't need the, the Bluetooth. I don't run Bluetooth on this thing. You know, but I've got the other things. So those things are now hidden. I don't have to worry about those. Gone. Uh, and I've also got, you know, you can also change these guys too. You can make it to where, it seemed like there was a way to actually make it, actually, oh yeah, there it is. So you can make it to where all the actions are up here, or you can make it to where it's just a menu that drops down. So you can make it to where it's very quick and easy to log out and do all that if you're doing that all the time. But in my case, I'm on here for a little bit whenever I log in, usually. So I like to have it drop down and have it compacted. Um, and you can also change out some of the options on here. You know, Do you want it to just be able to have a log out with the dialog, with everything that you'd have on there? Or do you want to have it to where it just straight logs out with a click? You know, and you can add, you, know, you can have your separators in there, whatever you choose. But just click them if they're visible. No check makes them not visible. So you can carve things down if you don't think you're going to ever hibernate, or you don't want it to be easily available on there. You just take it out. It's hidden. Um, and just for a few of these things too, uh, locking the screen makes it to where you have to. It blanks out the screen and makes it sure you have to enter a password to get back in. Switching the user allows you to log in as another user, keeping your current session open. Suspending the system puts everything into memory in a low power state. This kind of brings the computer down to a low power state, keeps everything in memory. Hibernation writes the memory to the hard drive 
and then shuts it down so that way when you start it back up it will load everything back on in and you'll be right where you were yeah shutting down is for shutting down and powering off and you still want to do it even if you don't start up a GUI you want to make sure you shut down your your Linux desktop there's a way to do it from the command line as well um, and then logging out that means leaving your your session closing all your programs you've logged in as and that are under your login and moving out so yeah we can see on here we can do that we can also add additional cool little things to our bar that's right in here we can remove things we can add things uh, sometimes I have additional information about this currently selected item but we can add and we can see you know if we have a battery if we're running on a laptop what's our battery condition like we can see our clipboard information we can see we can add a clock which we saw we didn't need that uh, CPU information uh, dealing with your C how much CPU you're using you've also got stuff about RAM and stuff like that I even did on some of those um, date time that's also got the drop down calendar on there as well uh, so you see there's certain applets that you see several times these are the applets that are available and depending on the software that you install may be different uh, you know disk performance uh, disk free you can put the amount of free disk space up there if you want to uh, generic monitor let's see here oh yeah to just be able to show the output of a, of a command so that would be like running that would just be like running a uh, one of your console commands and being able to see its output but that allows you to just use any command for it that's the point uh, change out your keyboard layout on the fly uh, mail being able to check even multiple mailboxes just right up there just look up there and see your mail when it comes on in network monitors being able to show how much network you're running uh, maybe you're wondering why a page is getting slow it's helpful to look up there and see oh yeah um, notes maybe you want to keep some quick notes it's great to have that thing you can click it up there and bring it down uh, and you can put these on like I showed you can create other panels and you can put them up against the sides you can put them up against wherever you want to uh, there's so many options uh, on how you set these things up and these are things that you can add to those various different panels so yeah you can even access your places pretty quickly um, that's the notification areas and stuff like that um, displays levels of, of battery and stuff like that we've already got that stuff on in there uh, features to be able to put screenshots right there uh, you know being able to watch your sensors on your computer that's just depends on how much you want as far as information at your fingertips you can put a lot of information you can also put uh, and that's your menu button and that's your window buttons menu window um, workspace and then a time or two so you can time test you can go ahead and you know just click on it and have it start and time off a certain amount of time that's another app that's on there and if you install other programs you may have additional ones but one of the most important ones too is the launcher and we're going to show that it's one of the key ones I really want to show on here um, I don't think we're really going to get into too much beyond showing this on this video so I can put my uh, I can put it wherever I want to see I can move it up and down on that position and I can I can just add I can edit on here 
and then this will allow me to add whatever items I want to. So if I want to add, oops, leaf pad's not on here anymore, it's mouse pad that they went to. And I can just add programs, boom, add another program. I can edit the properties of, or delete, edit, oh wait, no, add new empty item, edit. So I can also edit how, how it launches on here. So I can go ahead and say, I want mousepad to open, but I want it to open with a certain file or in a different working directory or even change the icon. I can change all of this stuff onto here. You know, you saw earlier I can change the colors. I can, I can put pictures if I wanted to on here. All kinds of options. Uh, and then I can also add onto here additional you know whatever else I wanted to maybe I want a Firefox add that to now we'll notice I'm stopping with that because we're gonna see there's a menu so the first item that I add on there is what's going to be where I can simply click on and launch it but everything else down I have to open up with dropping down the menu and clicking on it the one that's up here though I can also drag an item onto it as well so just a quick and now I launched that in mousepad so I can drag onto there and edit things. So I hope that was informative on how you can manipulate this. You know, you can add them on the top, on the bottom, on both sides. I have different ones that are done differently. It's up to you how you want to do yours. Thank you for watching.